How the hell did you manage that? In all honesty, I have no idea. And welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do another welding project. And the simple fact of it was I pulled apart the uh, engine and it was buggered. So I'm going to use the parts to create something. And as you can probably see behind me, we have the old clock. I am going to get rid of that and not use it as a clock anymore because I'm pretty sure it stopped working a while back. However, the plan is to recreate that symbol, but with metal and welding. So there is a big pile of scrap here. This is actually my future projects block. So we'll, we'll, we'll get into that at some point, but this, this project is strictly parts that I'm going to use to recreate that in metal to go on the wall. A bit like a kind of ornament. But anyway, we'll get to it. As you can see, we have a bike chain. Um, this was on that bike. However, I have borrowed it and I'm going to replace it. So don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, we have a coil from the flywheel. We have some cogs from the internals. Um, we've got some metal sheeting and then an absolute ton of nuts, bolts and washers and stuff to fill it all out. So I'm going to get to this, kind of lay up how I'm kind of picturing it in my head and we'll, uh, we'll make a start. Okay, so I'm wanting my circle chain. So that's going to be the external. Uh, I was hoping that this would be a little bit bigger. However, trim it down, cut it, do what needs to be done. Uh, I was then thinking, slap that in the middle, slap that over that, cut this down, slap that on that. Possibly maybe even use that as a cover over that, kind of all cracked and stuff. And then pour and shimmy, all of those. So I've got the rough idea. Uh, so yeah, let's make a start. So we're gonna to to start off with the chain. Um, so we'll just make sure we've got the right sort of circle bit. I need to cut that. through one bit. Come on. <clears throat> Twat. Anyway, got it cut. That's what we needed. So we now have, this is the second one I believe. Yeah. So that'll go like that. Perfect. Now I've just got to make sure that that stays like that while I'm welding it. Okay, so we have the welder ready. I just need to replace the wire on it. I know I am welding and this is wood underneath and I know it's gonna burn with the heat of the welder. However, it's all I could use at this moment in time and I have no patience in waiting. So we have the circle laid out. I've nailed in the chain. We're gonna to get to welding it, so. It's either going to be tonight when I start it or tomorrow. All depends on one, how long it takes me to get this sorted and two, if my welding mask is actually working. So it turns out there is plenty of spool left on the welder. The problem wasn't that. The problem was it had kinked somewhere in here. So it wasn't coming out the other end. However, I have resolved the problem. We now have wire coming out the end so we can start welding again. So I'm gonna go get changed because I'm really not wearing anything to do good welding in, and we'll get to this. Great, let's get to welding. I won't lie, I don't know how this has gone. We shall see in a few seconds when I try and lift it up. Mm. 
Yeah, this doesn't look good. Or like it even held remotely. That's annoying. Clearly, that one welded to there. Nice. I mean, no, barely any of that's held. And it's hot, so I guess we're back to the drawing board. Feck! Okay, so we're off to a bad start. Although it is kind of held, it's still a bit floppy. So I'm probably gonna have to reinforce that with some bits of scrap metal and stuff to kind of see where we go. But we'll see, we'll see how it all turns out. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's next. A little bit of char. These welds are not going to be great, let's be honest. But as long as it holds, it holds. That's what's important. <laughs> Brother is going to be panicking. Don't worry, it's safe. Whew, we got a bit of smoke. Ah. We'll see how it's coming together. Get a bit of nice little uh empty water bottle spritz. Probably do with filling that up. At this point, I won't lie to you, I've got no clue what I'm doing. So we'll just see how it all turns out. That doesn't look good. Probably not do that. Yeah, I just realised. Those are electric coils and I'm putting electric current through them. I don't think this is going to be a good idea. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, so after some careful consideration and stuff catching fire, I have kind of worked it out. So I'll just flip you around. So this is an absolute mess. This needs some more work. These are kind of linked. So they're all kind of attached, but in different ways. Um, I started with the intention of recreating this masterpiece, but I really don't know what's going on. So we'll just have to see. Okay, so we're back. Today, I'm gonna try and get as much as I possibly can welded nut-wise on this uh, in hopes that it'll stay. But I'm at this point, I'm kind of just uh, chuck it all together, see what happens, see what we come out with. So I'll crack on with that now.
think one of my biggest problems is I have a lot of rusted metal that I haven't scraped to kind of clean up to make sure it welds properly. So I'm going to crack on with this and we'll see where we're at when, when I'm done. So I seem to have made a mess, but it seems like a productive mess. I'm pretty sure if this was in like a, a modern art gallery somewhere in London, they'd make an absolute fortune. But I'll flip you around and let you have a look. And here we have the mess. So this is all welded in place. How steady it is, is I don't know. The original plan was to basically weld onto the top of it the logo. Um, and instead I've just made this kind of thing. And I mean, it's it's pretty solid. It's a bit hot, but pretty solid. But we'll have to see where I go from here. So that's it so far, we'll see what's next. So I'm just gonna add some finishing touches to it. Once those are on, we're gonna have to see where we're at or if it'll stand on the wall or, or what but i don't have a lot of faith in this i've got a feeling the moment i pick it up it's all gonna fall apart but we'll see so yeah see you in a bit As you can see behind me, we have a mess on the wall now. I mean, it's partially better than the other one. At least the other one was kind of structured. This was just a random mashings. Uh, yeah, so we've made the logo in scrap metal and whatever was parts of the engine dismantle that I did. So as far as it goes, I don't think it's too bad. But again, when does anything I do with welding look fantastic? Okay, so that's it for now. That's time to go away, the world is time to put away. Um, that is now mark two of the clock that's not actually a clock. Uh, there will be a number three. One thing that I have learned from this is plan it. Plan what you need, plan the parts, plan what you're gonna use, plan everything because if you don't, you end up with the mess that I've created. Don't get me wrong, it's cool and it's kind of like steampunky, but if I was to do it properly next time, the next time I actually do this, one, I'll be better at welding. Two, it will be all pre-planned and pre-done and ready to go. And it's just going to be a matter of attaching it all together and getting it all right. This was me using tin snips and scrap metal that I'd found from dismantling the engine. So that's pretty much everything. So again, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. All the welders that absolutely despise this, that are not going to enjoy the absolute mess that I've made. I'm sorry, but we've got to learn somewhere. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.